Well, we're very lucky. Join us as beautiful 10-year-old Marley and her beautiful four-year-old sister Maya. Also, their parents, Jamar and Curzio, join us. Welcome, you guys. Yes, so, welcome. Marley, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling great. I can run and play golf now. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. cool. So, so, Maya, how, did it, how does it feel to know that you saved your sister's life? I helped my sissy feel better. Are you sure? Yeah, nice. This story is very personal to me because I remember when we first started offering this type of treatment. I was in college, and my sister at the time had sickle cell, and we went through this whole process of actually trying to see if I matched and whether or not we were going to do it. And it was such a risky situation that she actually made the executive decision. I mean, we all were like, let's do it so that you can feel better. She actually made the executive decision that that wasn't something she felt comfortable with. So I know as parents that that was a very difficult choice for you and it ended up being the right choice. The bone marrow transplant essentially cured Marley and now you've got your whole life ahead of you. But with sickle cell, just to remind everyone what can happen anytime any stressors placed in the body or for unknown reasons, what happens is normally a red blood cell is flexible, it's oval shaped, it can get to any part of the body. But in sickle cell anemia, what happens is those red blood cells will actually turn into the sickle shape. What can then happen is they can clump together. They can choke off blood flow to really any part of the body causing these crises we just discussed. And I hear that you are a fantastic golfer. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. Is it true that you're like 55th in the world in your division? Yes, out of 85. <laughs> out of how many? 85. Hey, a little quiz. Do you know who the number one women's golfer is? Stacy Lewis. Oh, wow, you know your Well, friends. you know what? We have a little surprise for you. Check this out. Join us from Florida's 11-time LPGA Tour winner, one of the top-ranked female golfers in the world, <laughs> Stacy Lewis, who wanted to say hi to you, Marley. Nice. Thanks, Stacy, for hi, being Marley. with us. Yeah, I was so impressed with your story, and um, it's something that you know I can relate to. As a kid, I uh, was diagnosed with scoliosis, and um, I had to wear a back brace for eight hours a day for six and a half years. And then after doing all that. Uh, Unfortunately, it didn't work, and I still had to have surgery, so I had a rod and five screws in my back when I was 18 years old. So um, I know what you guys went through, you know, not on the same level, but I know the disappointments and how hard it is. I talked to my sponsors, and, uh, you know, they were blown away by your story as well. And so uh, we decided to send you a few things. And uh, everything that's, you know, what either I wear or what I use. So uh, we have a golf bag coming from oh. Zuno and uh, some shirts that are logo just like I wear every day. Mm, nice. Look at that. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so you guys get to take all that home with you today. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> You're very welcome, and I actually have one more surprise for you guys. Um, you know, we play a tournament in March next year, just down the road, not too far, down in Carlsbad. It's called Kia Classic. Mm -hmm. And I would love it if you and your family would come hang out with me for the week. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> nice! You Hopefully, Mom and yeah. Dad will allow you to do that. Yes. You're also, we're going to play some golf. You're going to play in the Pro-Am with me. And um, oh. I'm so excited. I can't oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, nice. thank you so much. Thank, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.